Hey guys, it's Kristen. It's been a really long time since I filmed a YouTube video. I was taking a bit of a hiatus. Uh, life was just crazy over here and I felt like I wasn't really giving it my all. I felt like I was kind of just showing up and making these videos and I just wasn't, my heart wasn't really into it. So took a bit of a break and I'm not sure if I'm ready to be back full time yet but I knew that I definitely wanted to sit down and film a quick video for you today. I hope you can hear me okay. I did have to put my headphones in because my son's playing video games right below me and he's super loud when he plays, but I didn't want to wait because the mood struck me and I missed you guys and I wanted to make this video. I've been doing something new over on Instagram. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I will put my handle up here and you can come on over there. I'm a lot more active on Instagram than I am here on YouTube. I've been doing something new over on Instagram calling it Mindset Monday. I've just really been trying to work on my own mindset a lot. And because my business, Sense and Purpose, really started from the journey I was on in my own life, it just kind of makes sense. I'm always sharing wherever I'm at in life. So I thought it would be fun to sit down and kind of take these Mindset Monday posts and put them into shorter Mindset Monday videos here on YouTube. Now, I'm not sure if this is something you guys are gonna be into or not. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you like these shorter videos that kind of just address one specific uh, mindset shift that may be helpful to you, that's my plan. I'd like to try it for a couple Mondays, see how it goes. Um, I don't know, you tell me what you think. I love to hear from you guys. I miss you guys and I'm curious to see if you think this is something that would be of use to you in any way. The last thing I want to mention before I dive into the Mindset Monday topic for today is I'm kind of hoping to make these, like I said, a little bit shorter than my regular videos and also a little bit less edited, more just like a quick conversation with a friend is my hope. I don't know, we'll see how it goes, but that's kind my plan so unless I'm like burping or farting or just kidding I don't fart doing something like that on camera I'm hoping to try and keep it lighter and more conversational and a little bit less edited all right I talked enough so today's mindset Monday topic is going to be this is actually the picture I posted on Instagram and if for some reason you can't read it it says you cannot pour from an empty cup and I thought this would be a great one to start with because I just really feel this deep in my soul. And I mentioned in the Instagram caption that one of the things the pandemic has really taught me is that it is crucial to prioritize my own mental health, my own self care, my own sanity. Uh, and I believe it's the same for you, especially if you're a parent and extra, especially if you're a mom. Um, not saying that moms, are any better than dads. I'm just saying that from a mother's perspective, actually cooking, growing that baby inside of you for so many months, I do believe gives us even more of a feeling of obligation to always be everything for our kids. And oftentimes that extends to our spouse, our partner, family, friends, what, whatever. But, um, I know for a lot of moms, it's really hard to put yourself first because you feel selfish. And really the message I wanna get across today is self-care is not selfish. Self-care, in fact, sorry, apparently a motorcycle gang just drove by my window. In fact, self-care is selfless because going back to the quote, you cannot pour from an empty cup, it's really true. If you kind of take a minute and think back, when have been the times that you felt like you just weren't being the best mom, the best parent, the best friend, the best daughter, the best employee, right? And a lot of times that is when we are feeling stressed, we're feeling anxious, we're feeling overwhelmed, we're feeling run down, we're feeling, um, I don't know, just all the things, right? All the things that we feel um, when we kind of just start to feel like we're off our game a little bit. Um, we kind of feel like maybe we just really need a vacation or we just need a break. And that is your body telling you that you need to take better care of yourself. So 
it's not selfish to take care of yourself because when you take some time to fill up your cup and you take some time to prioritize yourself and your own self-care, I promise you, you will notice yourself being a better mom, a better sister, a better friend, a better worker, a better um, neighbor, a better spouse. It It's so true. It um, You're just, you're, feeling more patient, you're feeling more calm, you're feeling more grounded, you're feeling less stress. It really is true. And I think the myth that um, I really want to bust today is that self-care does not have to be some big grand gesture. It doesn't have to cost a lot of money. It doesn't mean you have to spend hundreds of dollars and get a babysitter and take off work and go to the spa for the whole day. Self-care is really any act of self-love, right? Anything, whether it's big or little, whether it takes five minutes or it takes five hours, whether it costs a hundred dollars or whether it's free, it's really just doing anything for yourself that makes you feel better, that makes you feel recharged, that makes you feel um, filled up, right? And I just, I think it's sad that it's taken a global pandemic for me to finally stop feeling guilty. Um, I really enjoy taking taking care of my home and taking care of my family and feeling needed and making my home look beautiful and all the things. But I notice when I am kind of lacking in the self-care department, right? When I haven't prioritized it and I haven't uh, been consistent with it, I can feel myself just getting less and less joy out of those things. Instead of feeling good that my family needs me, I feel like they're constantly pulling me in every single direction. Uh, Instead of feeling good and joyful about keep taking care of my home and making it look beautiful because that's something that's really important to me, I feel stressed and like my to-do list is a mile long and like everywhere I turn, I feel like I'm Um, complaining about my house instead of feeling grateful and loving it and wanting to take care of it um, because it's so important to me. So if you really start to pay attention to yourself, you'll start to build this muscle of self-awareness and you'll be able to start picking up on those cues that are telling you you need to slow down, you need to rest, you need some time to recharge, you need to fill your cup. And I promise you when you start um, recognizing those clues and more importantly, actually acting on them, you are going to notice um, a huge difference. You're going to notice just such a difference in your mental health. Personally, I suffer from anxiety and I notice that when I'm being more consistent and intentional with my self-care, it really does help calm my anxiety um, to a degree. It it doesn't get rid of it, but it it definitely does help kind of level things out a little bit. Um, Of course, I don't know what your specific personal situation is, but I do know that you are worthy of feeling at your best. You are worthy of taking as good care of yourself as you take of everyone else. And uh, I know this, you know, is mostly a personal finance channel, but I just want you to understand that this extends to every area of your life, right? So this is a topic for a whole other Mindset Monday, but spending, overspending, all of that is emotional. So when we are feeling less than our best and we are, our emotions are maybe out of whack or we're kind of feeling all over the place, a lot of people will then use spending, shopping, uh, things like that as a way to cope and to try and kind of fix what's off balance there. Um, Unfortunately, it usually doesn't help and often causes to make things even worse. However, um, like I said, you will even notice things like managing your money, your finances, your relationships, your sleep, everything start to get better when you are deliberate about taking care of yourself. I'm just gonna close out this video by saying it again. Uh, Self-care is not selfish. 
In fact, it is quite the opposite. It is selfless uh, because when you put yourself first and you make sure that you are um, firing on all cylinders, you can absolutely take better care of everybody else and kind of perform better in every single area of your life. So that is my Mindset Monday message for you today. Uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. It's been so long since we've chatted. I hope you'll take a second, leave me a comment, let me know what you thought of this video if you think this is something that you would like to check out every Monday. Also, if you have any other topics that you would like to hear from me on um, regarding mindset, like I said, it's something I've really been focusing on a lot. It's something I focused on a lot in my course, Make Over Her Money, which is also open. Um, I will leave a link to that down below. And if mindset is something that you're really struggling with, uh, especially regarding your money, absolutely head to the description box, check out that course. It will help you greatly with your money mindset and all other areas of making over your money as well. And if you like this type of content, I hope you will take a second and subscribe to my channel. Like I said, I hope to be back here and uh, making videos regularly again, and I would love to have you here as part of my little family on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you have a great day, bye.